Good morning everyone and happy 11th of October. It is the most glorious sunny day here today. It was really cold last night. We had our first frost and uh, yeah, we even saw the Northern Lights. But today it is really, really sunny. And I actually tried to babble on the bench, but it was so sunny that I couldn't see the viewfinder. I filmed a bit. It was all out of focus. I tried again, the same thing happened. So now I'm inside talking to you. Um, it is my day off today, so on a Friday I usually go and see my dad and at the moment I am decorating for him, I'm painting his lounge, so I've got my workwear on with my stringy dungarees um, and I've just got out of the shower so I'm a bit kind of soggy and um, yeah. In fact I'm trying this new product for wavy hair uh, because this bit is my frizzy bit usually um, but it seems to have sorted that out. It's still a bit damp so we'll see how it goes, um, you know curly hair, wavy hair, it kind of has a mind of its own. But if I can leave it to do its own thing, I find it much easier to manage. So yeah, so I'm a bit damp um, and I'm not kind of dressed for the occasion, but <laughs> you'll have to forgive me for that because you know, got stuff to do. Right, um, I am going to be answering some of your questions later on today. That's my plan um, because lots of you have left so many lovely comments and asked me some questions. So I want to hop on and uh, answer some of those a bit later. And I will take you on along with me, can't speak, for the rest of the day. So wherever you are, I hope you are having a lovely day too. Everyone. I am now back from Dad's, it is about half past five and uh, just had a cup of tea, got changed, it's getting a bit chilly, getting a bit cold, so it's certainly, you know, the last couple of days there's been certainly a dip in the old temperatures. Um, I had a lovely time at Dad's, we did a bit of gardening, I say we, he was supervising with floss, but um, yeah, did a bit of gardening, just clearing out some of the annual plants that had gone over just tidying up a little bit because yeah the weather was lovely so just wanted to be outside really um, but he's doing really well um, it's lovely to see him as always thanks for lunch dad and uh, yeah on the way back I popped to the garden centre I've got a few goodies actually up there um, which I'll show you later there's just a few bulbs and things if you're interested um, yeah, got a few bulbs for the garden and also some for the allotment as well. So you will have seen a bit of footage, all the cyclamen were out. It's just, I just love those plants. They're just so beautiful. Anyway, but I thought I would come on here before it gets too late. I'm sorry if you hear any creaking. It's my fridge freezer. It makes a lot of noise. It does hum in the background sometimes. It sounds really quiet to me now, but... Who knows if you can hear it so if you can I apologize but it's getting late the light is fading and this is the best light I have natural light in the house at the moment so um, yeah we'll work with what we've got but I wanted to pop on have my tea and have a little chat with you and answer some of your lovely questions um, that have come up and that you've posted and thank you for all your comments as well I do read them all I need to go and heart them all but just, yeah, it's just hard, you know, time-wise. And, you know, the free time I have goes into kind of editing and uploading, so anyway. But I thought I would answer some questions. And I have done a filter on YouTube Studio, which um, lets me know which ones, 
which ones contain questions. So I hope I do answer your question. If I don't, then please ask the question again in another comment. It might just be that the field hasn't picked up on it and I apologise for that in advance if that's happened. Um, but let's get to it before all of a sudden it goes really dark. <laughs> um, so Carol, so enjoying the vlogs. Thank you. Why does Harvey not like your tripod? Is it because he doesn't have your attention? My dad's dog would bark all the time when dad was on the phone for just that reason. Do you ever brush Harvey and does he enjoy it? So Carol, thank you. Um, Harvey, I think it was, was it day two or three? I can't remember now, but I was filming and I put the tripod on our coffee table to film and he noticed it and he started thumping his foot and um, he doesn't do it for attention. So rabbits are prey animals. And so when they see something untoward or unfamiliar in their environment, they'll thump on the floor and th that's really kind of um, a rabbit's way of telling the bunnies in the burrow that there's a potential threat outside. So it's kind of like a warning. He doesn't do it very often. It's not for attention. It's just because he might be a little bit scared or a little bit worried that something's amiss. So if someone was to come in the house and put a bag somewhere and he hadn't seen it, and then he did, he would do the same thing. But he doesn't actually thump very often. Um, yeah, so it's just a, a natural instinct. And do I brush him? Uh, yes, I do. So rabbits molt a few times a year and they can molt. The last molt we had was like the worst we've ever had. It was like coming out in like clouds. <laughs> it's very fine, um, a bit like cat hair, I guess. Um, so yes, I do brush him. When he's going through a molt, I brush him every other day. When he's not molting like now, I'll brush him once a week. Does he like it? No, he hates it, but he has to have it done um, because rabbits um, aren't like cats. They groom themselves a lot like cats do but they can't cough up a hairball and they can't vomit. So I hope you're not eating your dinner. <laughs> so, so it has to go through and sometimes there can be a blockage, um, which is often why rabbits can die quite suddenly um, and quite quickly. And I think it was last, was it last year? It was either during Vlogmas or Vlogtober where we had a situation where Harvey stopped eating and that could potentially be a blockage because of fur. So we had to take him to the vet. Um, so yeah. Rabbits have to eat all the time, and if they stop eating, it's a real problem. Um, Dawn says, loved seeing Harvey. How old is he and how long have you had him? Oh, thank you, Dawn. This is gonna be the Harvey show. Honestly, it's going to his head. He's impossible to live with. Um, he is about 18 months old now. We had him since he was about 12 weeks old. And uh, yes, we've had him a long time, so he really is part of the furniture. In fact, he is laid across the door jam at the moment, and he's um, yeah, everyone has to step over him. So uh, yes, he's uh, he's still a young bun. Um, but indoor rabbits, uh, when you keep them inside, they live a lot longer than rabbits that are kept outside, um, because they're very social and. Uh, yeah, they find it quite difficult to regulate the temperature. So um, so we could potentially have him sort of till he's 12, 14 years old. So they're, they're quite a commitment. Um, Pamela, thank you so much, Becky. Your new cast on is beautiful. Thank you, I'm really loving it. And you also ask about grooming Harvey's fur to keep it. Do I, do I groom Harvey's fur to keep it in such wonderful condition? I'm not sure. I can take any credit for the condition of his coat. <laughs> um, I'm not sure it's my brushing, my hairdressing skills, um, but uh, I do brush him, yes, as I said. Uh, Elaine says, love the pictures of Harvey. Honestly, I hope he's not listening. His head's gonna get so big. Um, do you ever say what your job is? I don't think I have actually, Elaine. I don't think I have on this vlog. I've said before, I've mentioned it before, but yeah, I. Don't think I have so far. So my job is I am a social, emotional and mental health practitioner and I work with young people um, from primary all the way through secondary. Um, so yeah. So EVD10 says, I have a question. Are you going to order an advent calendar from JC Rennie this year? And how does the cowl unit last year wear next to the skin? You told us it was a bit scratchy, but maybe that changes when washed and worn a few times. Thank you. 
So, um, I don't think I am going to get the Advent Calendar this year, and not because I didn't love it, because I did really love it. Um, but when you're doing Vlogmas, it just feels like another thing that you've got to kind of keep up with and get done. So, I think if I'm going to do Vlogmas, probably won't do it, but I will probably do something Christmassy knitting wise. Um, uh, the cow, how does it wear next to the skin? It was a bit scratchy, it has definitely softened and the one that I'm making at the moment is really, really soft. And uh, yes, yeah, so it's hard isn't it because I don't find those yarns scratchy at all and I know some people would be really sensitive. Um, but it definitely does really, really soften and it actually softens while you're knitting with it as well and then when you do wash it, it blooms. Um, so I think it's soft but it's difficult to tell. I mean the only thing I could say was to sort of get like a little one of their mini balls and pop it in your bra, um, in your bra strap, because that's quite a sensitive area, and then like wear it for a day and see if that bothers you or not. Um, I know a lot of people that have, have tried that and it, it works really well, so. Uh, EP Munzer says, what was the green seed pod you showed at the end that looked like a pom-pom? That was day seven and eight. It's actually on the, the picture of the video, isn't it? The thumbnail. Um, I'm a new viewer and I enjoy the gentle, calm, gentle, God, I can't say that, I can't say that, the calm, gentle pace of your vlogs. Thank you very much and welcome. Um, it wasn't a seed pod, it was a bit of moss. In fact, I think somebody has replied and said, yeah, that it was a piece of moss. We get a lot of moss in the garden. We have some really shady areas, so it kind of accumulates. And what happens is the, the blackbirds come along and they, they dig it out of the crevices in between the rocks and the paving slabs. And so you get these kind of little, little um, pods of, of moss, but that's what it was. Uh, Jill says, oh, I love seeing Harvey. Uh, one question, can you explain your job? You have given me such inspiration with your knitting. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Jill. Well, I have just kind of told you what my title is. Um, basically, my job is looking after children who are kind of at the beginning of their pathway uh, for a diagnosis quite often. Um, but basically, it's when their behaviour can be quite challenging and it's trying to unpick what that means and then trying to put support in place for that young person. Um, Katana says, Katana164 says, loved seeing Harvey, he's such a cute rabbit. <laughs> does he come and sit on your lap at all? Have a lovely day. Um, he doesn't, so he's very affectionate and he loves if you lay on the floor and you stroke him and he'll, they purr. Um, when I say purr, they kind of like chatter their teeth um, when they're really enjoying a good stroke. But he doesn't come and sit on our laps. He's um, He doesn't really like anything soft to sit on. Um, he used to come up a bit, but yeah, he doesn't, he'd rather just sit on the floor. And if you pick him up and put him on your lap, he'll only stay there for a minute and then like, he's off again and wants to be down. So, um, so no, so not really, but I know some rabbits do. So that could just be a Harvey thing. Elaine at the Craft Shed, 1993. Says, so lovely to see Harvey, dear little munchkin. Was he eating dried flowers? Yes, so when I cleaned him out, I put some hay in his litter tray and also I put some forage on the top. And I think the forage is marigolds, cornflowers and roses. Um, and sometimes I dry them from the garden as well. And then, yeah, it's a little bit of a treat for him. So he does love some flowers. A lot of flowers are poisons for rabbits though, so it has to be certain specific ones. Um, Carol Bresnahan1244 says, beautiful, calming vlogs to watch. Oh, thank you. Um, how is Jack? Will he be doing Vlogmas this year? I really enjoyed his previous one with the mixture of knitting and music. Oh, so for those of you that don't know, um, my son Jack, is Slip Slip Ginge on YouTube. He hasn't posted for a long time, purely because he has got a really busy job that takes up so much of his time now. Um, so it's really lovely that um, you'd like to see him, but I don't think he'll be videoing anything anytime soon. Not to say that he won't, um, but just that I know how busy he is at the moment. Um, Victoria Pearson says, your bunny is so cute. 
Uh, does he, she do her business in a litter box? Yes, so he does. So Harvey's a boy and he um, he does do his business in a litter box. So you can litter train a rabbit really easily because um, in the burrow they would have a latrine area. So they naturally only go in one area. So, um, so to train them to do it, all you need to do is if they have an accident, then you pick it up with the tissue, you pop it in the litter tray and literally only had to do that about four or five times with Harvey and he got the message and now yeah, he just goes to his litter box when he needs to go to the loo. Joanna Martin, 7917, says, Wow, your swatch looks beautiful. Does Wee County Yarn soften up after washing? I can handle John Arban Appledore and Jameson's, but I'm careful. Yes, it does. It softens up a lot as you're working with it and also after washing. And if you continue to wash it, it does soften up. I think if you can wear Jameson's and you can wear John Arbon, you'll be absolutely fine. In fact, you'll probably find that it's a bit softer. Uh, Maple Girl says, I love the Hawthorne color of that sweater. Thank you. I went to the Wee County website, but couldn't find it. Would you mind sharing the brand name? It is there, but you have to look for it. So if you go onto the mini balls, look for Hawthorne there, and then it will say, oh, they're in 10 or 20 grams. I think they're 20 grams, but I'm not sure, but it will say that. If you say you want 10 of those, it will come in one big cake, and that's how you find it. So go to the mini ball, mini ball part, and you'll find it there. Um, if you have a problem, then do get back to me, and I'll, I'll try and kind of type it out or something for you, but yeah. Um, what else have we got? I think that's it. I think we're down to Morris AGM and things like that, which I have already uh, answered. So yeah, that's it, which is good because it's getting darker and darker and it actually looks a lot lighter <laughs> in the camera than it really is. So I feel like I've got this kind of light, um, ambient lighting from the laptop. So yes. So thank you for all your questions um, and keep them coming because it's really nice and hopefully in a few more days I, I'll have time to sit down and, and do another one. So for the rest of the day I have got to go and do the Tesco shop, I've got to go to the supermarket um, which isn't very exciting and uh, yeah and then I'm going to chill out for a bit and uh, yeah. So I hope you've had a nice day. Um, I'm going to hop off now. Harvey's just run out to find me, so uh, so that's a good reason to stop as well. So anyway, I shall see you in the next vlog. Good morning and happy 12th of October. Hope you're having a good day. It's a bit rainy here, a bit drizzly, a bit grey, um, but you know, it's autumn. I have been pottering around a bit this morning and I'm having a nice cup of tea and I thought I would hop on here and just have a little chat with you about what I bought from the garden centre yesterday. So I've got this exciting little box and um, I did buy a tray of cyclamen um, and I want to put them around the pond. They're outside and they're soaking wet so I'll show you them another time. But I also got some garlic for the plot. So this is Thermidrome French garlic. Not planted that variety before so we'll see what that's like. There's two cloves in there. I got some daffodils so these are fortune and they're an early flowering variety and these are to go in my front bed um, out in the front garden in the spring my front bed is pretty much full of daffodils but there are a few gaps so I'm going to stick them in there and the rest of them in the back garden because you can never have enough daffodils in the spring um, and then because I'd spent like 20 pounds if I spent another five pounds, I got five pounds off. So I bought another Christmas flowering cactus. Um, I love these, they're so pretty. So I've got one of them, I've got one already, don't need one, but you know, it was free pretty much. And then also they gave me six free pink tulip bulbs. So they're gonna go in the garden as well. So I think that was a pretty um, good haul. Yeah, did well there. Um, so today I am going to pop into my local town, I've got to get a baby gift and also there's an independent yarn shop that opened up a few months ago now um, and I have been in there very briefly before but I'm going to go in and um, yeah, see if there's anything that takes my fancy. So I will take you along with me for the day and uh, see what we get up to. Mm -hmm. 